Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for who is coming towards you. Is it going to be new love or is it going to be an extra turns? So my darlings, uh, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And I am taking some limited live readings. So if you're interested, you can go to my website. I don't reach out to you guys on Instagram. I don't DM you. I'm sure you guys have heard this from many readers already. So I'm probably just repeating myself on this. But the only place to get a reading with me is at my website. Um, I'm only saying this because I'm watching out for you guys, okay? Because I do get a lot of emails on this and I get a lot of DMs and I get a lot of Facebook messages about this same thing. So I'm just repeating myself here just to let you guys know to give you a heads up. So the only place to get a personal room with me is through my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. Okay, so if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second YouTube channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so we're going to talk about new love first. Then we're going to talk about extra turns and this is going to be a long reading guys. So feel free to take notes if you like. All right. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. All right. So what does Pisces need to know about new love? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. We got the six of cups energy. All right, I'm going to lay down the rest of these cards. And. Okay, so in the current, you got some stuff going on from the past here. Some stuff coming up from the past, Pisces. And the current. So if it hasn't happened yet, it's about to. Okay, so memories of the past, someone from the past. Let's get more information. All right, what does Pisces need to know about new love? Show my cards in to see. Show my cards in to see. You could also be saying you know this person. That also could be the case. It looks like you're having a good time. It's a joyful energy there. Looks like you're enjoying yourself with someone that you've known before. Okay. What does Pisces need to know about new love? Show my cards in to see. Show my cards in to see. What do we got here? Yeah, there's some healing energy coming in. Somebody from the past, and there's a joyful energy here. Okay, so what's your blockage to new love? Wheel of Fortune. All right, so it needs to be the right time. There's still some things you got to resolve here. We see the card itself says karma. Um, it seems like uh, someone needs to be single and available to pursue, or there's concerns about being used, which is causing a sense of confusion. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Don't worry, I'm going to bring it all together, Pisces. I'm just going to go on here. Okay. So what's going on with your foundation? What, do, what have you been building here? Okay, we've got three wands. We got this transaction card and we got the soulmate. So you have been building a foundation of waiting for the soulmate, but you have the sense that you've been foolish. Okay. That's pretty clear cut. So what happened in the past? Oh, okay. We got the two of swords. Oh, got the cat card energy. So you've had some individuals who have lied to you, hasn't told you the truth, and this has left you at a crossroads. And because of this lying and deception, the sneaky slob behavior, this manipulation, now you feel like you are not, it's not safe for you to love. Okay, let's keep going. What's your goal here? Okay, your goal is to heal. Your goal is for things to go in your favor. Your goal is for um, a reconciliation and a healing and to regain hopefulness about your romantic love life. Okay, that's a good goal. That's a good goal. So far, what do we got here? We got healing confusions with the soulmate connection, but cautious and defensive, but hopeful. Okay, what's gonna happen in the immediate future? Hmm. World Cross, some of you guys are going to be doing some travel. Definitely a cycle is about to be completed for you guys. Some kind of accomplishment here with the World Card energy. Looks like you're going to get knowledge here of a situation. Book card energy of somebody missing you. Hmm. Something's going to come full circle. Getting knowledge of someone missing you. Okay. 
This also could explain this renewed hope here. Okay, so what's your unconscious desires? Uh, you feel like you should take your time and you want to trust in a situation that something's going to be potentially serious with the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Also, unconsciously, some of you guys may not be aware, but you do kind of want a reunion uh, with someone that you've known before. And you also, you want to make sure that in your unconscious desires that you really apply the wisdom from the past and that you have a situation where it's going to be the best decision for you on the long term. So you're overanalyzing because of things to do with the past and you want to make the best decisions. Okay. So who's influencing you? Your confidence. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay. There could be a lack of confidence. It looks like someone wants to spend some alone time with you. And there's a little bit of worry and stress here. Anxiety here. I'm trying to find that strength, courage, or confidence. I want to spend alone time with you, but I'm worried and stressed. Okay. Okay. What's your hopes and fears? Four of Pentacles tells me that you want to hold on to a situation. You want some time to think about it. And you want to have a conversation. Or some of you guys want options. Okay. So you want something stable. Something deeper. Or someone to really think about what they do or say. Mm. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Let's talk about the outcome here. Well, as far as potential goes, you guys have huge potential for a new love interest. However, the cherry card is coming out. For me, the cherry card tells me that you guys are going to have to take control of this. Okay. You're going to have to make the power moves here. You're going to have to will this with your desires. If you want a victory, you got to bring this into. So basically what's going on right now is your energy is a little bit scattered. Okay. So you got to bring this. What's your will? What do you want? Do you want new love or do you want somebody from the past? Okay. Do you want brand new love? What do you want? I want you to think about that. Okay. What do you want? And bring your will under control. Okay. Uh, and if you do, you can have a victory here because remember, we can manifest what we want. If this is truly what you want, you can have what you want. You have to deal with these regrets about the past, though. And you can lean on others for support here. Okay, so let's bring it all together. And as you can see, healing confusions with the soulmate connection, a relationship, cautious and defensive. There's a hopeful energy coming in with somebody who is missing you. They're saying, you're the best decision for me, but I'm worried and stressed, and I've been thinking about you very deeply. And we see there's this very nurturing, supportive energy. Okay. Okay, let's put this together. Don't worry, we're going to go through the X returns in a second here. Okay, so there is this joyful energy. Uh, there's concerns about being used and being foolish because someone was lying and deceptive. And there's a healing and recovery or someone wants to heal the situation. You gain knowledge about a reunion. I want to spend some alone time with you and I want to talk with you about these regrets. This is definitely talking about not a brand new person, but definitely someone from the past. And I get why the cherry card's there. Also, the new person could come through travel as well with the cherry card energy. Okay. Someone from the past. So this is someone you've known before, guys. Um, the timing will work out in your favor. Just be patient here. There's a crossroads here. We see a reconciliation and something needs to be accomplished or completed. There's going to be a lot of overanalyzing and actions because of lack of strength, courage, or confidence. I want to hold on to you and I want a victory here. Chariot current energy. So you can see this is not a brand new person. This is the person you've known before. So let's get some advice for a brand new person here. Okay. So what can Pisces do for new love? What can they do at this moment for new love? For their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them. What cards do you need? See? Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Let's see. What can you do here? What did I say? you got to have desire for it. Lots of desire is saying and trusting in the universe. Oh, my goodness. It's storming outside. We see you got to grow this in your consciousness. 
and trust in the air of mystery here. Send sweetness out and be confident here and do some reflecting so things can move and have flow. There is a creative solution here. In your energy field, you can reset this, but you gotta space yourself from someone from the past and manifest what you want, okay? So, as I said, as I told you guys, it seems to me like there's some kind of scattered energy, okay? So, you gotta focus that energy. You want new love, that's all you gotta think about. I want new love, I want new love. I got it right now, I have it, I'm happy. I got it, okay. Of course, I always preface this on, you don't have to take my advice if you don't want to. Um, listen to your heart, follow your intuition. You know what's best for you. Okay, so, ooh, you see that lightning out there? Oh my goodness, something's about to happen. That was a real shock. <laughs> okay, we had a tower moment in the video. <laughs> okay, you hear that out there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm sure you guys hear it. You're the reading that's got the storm going on. We're about to hit the X reading now. Okay, so, all right. So, does Pisces have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love interest? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Believe it or not, though, thunderstorms are very cleansing to the atmosphere. It's kind of like saging, right? It's cleansing the atmosphere of any uh, energy there. So that's very interesting. That's nature's way of cleansing. All right, so, okay. So we got this, oh, that's right. I'm gonna put, Jesus, guys. This storm is throwing me off. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we gotta put this one over here. We're not doing the new love anymore. We're doing the extra turns, okay. Okay, let's, let's put everything in line here that needs to go here, okay. And let's move this down here. Okay, all right, we got it, we got it, we got the spread right now, okay. All right, we got two here. Okay, because this is a seven card spread, the other one is a 10 card spread. Okay. Two cards there, okay, three, 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 three. I just like all of a sudden outside got super, super dark and it's like really looking ominous. <laughs> okay. All right, so what happened to you guys in the past with this person? Oh man, there was a lot of passion and chemistry and a lot of devotion to love and a lot of waiting around to see how things would play out. Seven of Pentacles energy. A lot of time invested for some of you guys or wanting to invest a lot of time. Okay, so does Pisces have huge potential to reconcile with their ex-love interest? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So in the past, definitely somebody wanted to assert themselves or gain more control over the situation. Does Pisces have huge potential to reconcile with their ex-love interest? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Definitely a spiritual type connection here. So where are you and this person in this connection? We got the Six of Swords. So you wanna overcome some kind of obstacles and barriers because you feel that there is a true love connection here. And you're seeing this situation from a new way, or a new perspective, or maybe you're feeling like you're being a little bit naive about this. You're wanting to receive some kind of positive turn of events because you are missing this person. Okay. We see What's going on with them? Actually, they want to reconcile with the judgment card energy. It looks like they want to hang out with you. Three of Cups energy. It looks like they are getting some kind of advice here. There's contemplation going on with this person. Yeah, they may be talking to a mother here about it or a motherly energy because they're trying to make the best decision here. Okay. How do they feel about you? They feel confused about what to do. They feel defensive. Hey, <laughs> they definitely want to. They feel like they definitely want to do something passionate with you. Passionate exercises there. Uh, they feel like maybe they should try to start out as a friend first um, or try to be more than just a friend here or go through a friend to help them out. They're worried and stressed about you in the situation. So, so far we see there's a spiritual connection. I'm missing you. I want to make the best decision and I'm stressing and worrying about this. 
So do they want to reconcile with you? Well, you got the magician card as the last final thing. It seems like this person, they're kind of waiting for the right time. They're losing their patience here, and they, and they want to have an ideal situation here. They want to make sure everything's aligned for them before they do it. They want to be single and available to sue, or they may want to be helpful here or be romantic here. This person wants to resolve some kind of conflict with family here, or long term, or maybe even help out financially there with the money card. OK, what can you do to help the situation? OK, don't overthink it with the devil card energy. All right, uh, and don't think you have missed this opportunity, okay? Um, because it's making you feel a little bit like there's some issues here. You know, we have the devil card energy, which talks about a lot of thinking about it, okay? Obsessive thinking about it. And four of cups is saying because you're concerned about missing an opportunity or um, you're concerned that what will be offered won't be accepted. I want you to focus on your cherry card energy, which is desiring victory here, gaining control of this willpower. Instead of feeling like you're trapped in your thoughts, see this as a potential opportunity, money card energy, okay? So will they reconcile? Do you guys have strong potential to reconcile? Yes, you guys have strong possibility to reconcile with this person. We've got the queen of wands, we've got the star card energy, we've got the strength card. So we can see it could also be involving another person around uh, this situation to re help reconcile it because we see Queen of Wands or they just may see you as very sexy and they're concerned that they'll miss an opportunity with you because uh, they're definitely seeing you as a uh, very sexy kind of energy. And we see that it's very hopeful and that they will gain their courage here. We see that they see value in this connection with the money card or they want to help you out financially there which will help bring this reconciliation. And there you go, they want some kind of commitment there. Here we go. They are listening to your intuition or they see this spiritual connection, they're missing you. They feel like you're the best decision for them. They're stressing and worrying about this family situation, this money situation, and this commitment. So it's like they have a lot of worry for you, a lot of concern for you. Um, it's like they wanna be there for you. They want to make a power move uh, and receive some kind of turn of events. We see a mother energy and a friend and someone who's trying to help with the situation because they're trapped in their thoughts and we see something to do with money and finance or something of value here. And then going down another layer here, King of Wands is saying lots of chemistry and passion, new perspective about the situation. We see good advice, which will cause an action. Someone sees your, their, their ideal partner they're concerned about missing an opportunity, so because of them concerned and missing an opportunity, they're going to find their strength to do it, like to come forward. Okay. So can I have some advice for Pisces when it comes to their ex-love interests and what they should be doing right now? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see, Pisces. Okay, so lean on people for support. Get ready for a massive change. Pay attention to the signs. There's going to be some spiritual confirmations. We see this relationship. You can take a chance. But be cautious and protective. Follow your intuition. Okay? You have luck. So it definitely is going to turn in your favor. Right now, just focus on having fun and having a good time. Don't really focus your energy too much because we've got the devil card energy for you guys. So don't ever think this. Don't obsess about this because what happens? Our energy goals or our thoughts go. So Pisces, bring your thoughts back to you. Have a good time. You ever notice, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have noticed from my life experience that, oh my God, uh, you know, have a breakup. And then you turn around and your friends are like, come on, let's go out. I want to have a good time and stuff. And then you just get caught up. Okay, let's go shopping. Okay, yeah, let's do this. And then you just get caught up with your life. And then all of a sudden, you know what? They show up. And that's, that's really to do with energy. It's like when you focus too much on something, you try to gain too much control over it you're pushing it away because that's how the universe works. So just focus back on you, have a good time, have fun, enjoy yourself, and then in the right time, it's gonna happen. You have a lot of possibility and potential, okay? So don't lose hope. You are gonna get some kind of confirmation, some kind of communication there, okay? All right, my beautiful Pisces, 
I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.